Welcome, everybody, to Review a Day, episode number 150. I'm Leland Brungard, and thank you guys so much for being here. Episode 150, I made it uh, this far. I thought I would switch up the uh, the setting again. I did it a while back when I switched to uh, sitting in front of the door instead of in front of the piano. I'm here in my home theater room now, though. Uh, this is where I watch all of the movies, the TV that I watch. Uh, so I figured I might as well start, I should start doing it in here. And uh, um, thank you. So, guys, thank you so much for uh, watching the reviews and commenting and, and for checking out the Knit Picket podcast and DamperCast. Links on the side, guys. Go, go check them out. Uh, episode number 150, what better way to celebrate that than talking about one of the biggest summer blockbusters of the year, uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. And this is the newest film from Michael Bay, who also directed the first film, uh, this film stars Shia LaBeouf, Megan Fox, uh, Josh Duhamel, the guy from Las Vegas is in this. John Turturro has a small role. Um, yeah, this movie is is about Decepticons, Autobots. There's some sort of thing that uh, Shia LaBeouf's character has that the Decepticons want. Uh, for one reason or another, to, to do something to destroy the planet. And shit kind of happens and different things happen and... Uh, I, re- I really don't want to spend too much time talking about this film because I, I found for the most part it-, it was a mindless waste of time. And I mean, it's a, it's a film franchise based on a Saturday morning cartoon series that really the only reason it existed was to sell action figures. And, and the movie, this film really feels like a cash grab. It's just, it's a really bad, haphazardly made film. Uh, Alex Kurtzman and Roberto, uh, Roberto Orsi, who wrote the screenplays, who wrote the screenplay, they wrote the screenplay to Star Trek, they wrote the screenplay to Eagle Eye, they're the guys behind uh, Fringe. I mean, these are really established writers, and this film is really bad. I mean, the screenplay is uh, uh, pretty terrible across the board. There's a sequence in which Shia LaBeouf's mother, uh, when they drop off Shia at college she somehow eats a pot brownie and runs around uh assaulting people because she's she's so high on pot on on a pot brownie and pe- people don't act like that uh people don't do that the, the movie is filled with plot points that really don't do anything except move the story forward there's a bit where uh for no reason and it's never explained whatsoever uh Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox and all these characters get transported halfway across the world to Egypt for no reason, and it is it, it is absolutely not explained. Um, the screenplay is a mess. Shia LaBeouf's performance isn't very good. M- uh, Megan Fox is, is is pretty atrocious in the film. Uh, the special effects is is one of the things that people always talk about. Transformers, oh, Transformers is is stupid. It's a mindless waste of time. But oh boy, the special effects are are, are really great. Uh, and I couldn't disagree more. Watching this film, I, I couldn't tell what the fuck anything was for the most part it, everything is just shiny and metal and these these transformers have faces but you can't really tell what they are because there's just so many bits of metal making them up and then they just explode and they just rip each other apart and and uh the action isn't very good without a compelling story to move that action forward uh it really adds up to a, a, a bunch of nothing i all i'll say after this is all i'm going to say in closing is if you didn't like if you didn't like this film, which I know a lot of people didn't, when Transformers Three comes out, which it's it's undoubtedly will, whether or not Michael Bay is directing or not, the fourth film is going to come out. This movie has made a shitload of money. If you didn't like this, don't go see the next one. Uh, do yourself a favor and don't see don't see the next one. If, if if you really were as offended as I was and as stupid as it was. Don't go see that next movie. And what I will urge you to see is to seek out the animated film, The Iron Giant. Uh, it's a Brad Bird movie. Brad Bird, who directed some of my favorite Pixar films of the last couple, uh, the last some of my favorite Pixar films like Ratatouille uh, or The Incredibles, which is a film I love. Uh, check out The Iron Giant because it has some similar themes like Transformers. There's a big uh, big robot, and it somehow takes that idea and makes it touching and sweet, and uh, it really just goes to show how little they did with a franchise like Transformers, that they really did nothing except uh, make robots fight, and it's it's really pretty terrible. Uh, 
I give uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen a one out of five. I really had a terrible time in the theater, and had I not paid for it, I, I guarantee you I would have either fast-forwarded or, uh, or turned this flick off. I, I, would, I would stay clear of it. If you guys like this review, make sure to head over to nitpicket.com. That's N-I-T-P-I-C-K-E-T.com for everything. You can find all of my podcasts there. Also, check out dampercast.com, one of the other podcasts I do. That's a lot of fun. Uh, thank you guys so much. Subscribe, rate, and I'll see you guys next time.